Hey guys, my name is Phil. We're here at Only the Best Firearms, and today we're showcasing an amazing pistol, the Steyr M9 series of handguns. Okay, the M9, very very similar to a modern day Glock or other polymer frame pistol like a Smith and Wesson M&P, or even some of the newer guns like an FNS. It dates back all the way to the early 90s. Uh, Steyr has been an Austrian firm making arms for as long as I can remember, decades if not centuries. They dabbled in pistols here and there, World War I, a little bit in World War II, took a break back in the early 80s, late 70s, they made some more, and then come the early 90s with the evolution of Glock and HK and some of the other polymer frame guns, they decided to get back in the market. The rumor is that they stole a couple engineers from Glock to help design this wonderful handgun. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But originally the concept was the Steyr M9, a 9mm handgun with a 15 round capacity, polymer frame with a steel top slide. Now, the gun was popular, not as popular as Glock and HK due to the namesakes, but at the same time, it was a popular gun. And then, a few years back, Steyr apparently sold to a couple Middle Eastern countries that were not favorable by the U.S., and the U.S. boycotted them temporarily. Steyr actually revamped their policies and people let them back in, and they have producing some fine new guns, including a new U.S.-made Steyr AUG assault rifle. Now in my hand here is the Steyr M9A1. The difference between an M9 and an M9A1, for the most part, is the fact that there's no longer a drop down safety, and there's an actual Picatinny rail. They also changed the contour of the grip slightly. Now, being a polymer frame gun, originally, it was a 15 round capacity. With the advancements of plus round capacity bumpers on the bottom, you can actually get it to 17 rounds. All of the full size Steyrs in 9mm come with a 17 round mag that's marked 15, but it says plus on the bottom. It features a striker fire mechanism, much like a Glock or the FNS or MMP series of pistols. If you notice though, it also has the trigger safety. Unlike a Glock or an MMP where the trigger actually angles inward, on the Steyr it comes straight back, which is a very consistent and forceful trigger every time. If you also notice on top of the gun, there's a hole in the barrel box, basically a window, that allows you to see if ammunition is loaded. The extractor will also protrude as a round would be in there, much like an HK or a Glock in terms of loaded chamber indicator, but they give you an actual window so you can actually see what's going on. It is a full Picatinny rail on the bottom of the gun for any kind of modern flashlight or laser setup, and at the same time, the takedown is very, very simple. Dry fire it, just like you would a Glock or some of the other striker fired guns. And right here, you'll notice a lever. Behind the lever is a two prong button. That button is actually a key lock for a child lock. The keys are included in the gun. If you pull the trigger, press in on that child lock and rotate the lever downward, the slide moves forward. With that advancement, the slide can be removed and the slide can be taken apart just like any other modern handgun. Put it back together, just like modern strikers, line the rails back up, and rack it. The biggest thing that Steyr offers with their M9 series of handguns and M40 is the fact of their trapezoid sights. I don't know if the camera can see it, but if you notice, they're a triangle that fits inside of a trapezoid. Very, very accurate. Some people don't like them because they're traditionalists and they focus more on dot sights or blacked out blade sights. But this actual trapezoid series of sights unique to the Steyr pistols actually allows for a very, very accurate and consistent point of aim. Steyr has been offering this pistol in several other configurations. They offer an S model, which is a smaller, more compact model. The magazines are interchangeable, but this does offer a smaller magazine with a smaller capacity. And they just came out with one of my personal favorites, the L series. This is the L9. L being for long, it is a longer slide and barrel. It retains the same 17 round capacity in 9mm, but they extended the magazine release for a much wider pull. My name is Phil. We're here at Only the Best Firearms, and thanks for watching.